Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable UEFI BIOS on a uh, ASUS P8Z77-V LX motherboard. And on this computer, I have it enabled, as you can see. I went to System Info and um, UEFI BIOS. This is BIOS mode, this is UEFI. I have a video about this if you're uh, interested in it I'll leave it in the video descriptions below on actually how to do that it doesn't take very long but your bio settings have to be correct in order for you to use it so I'm gonna go to um, and show you that my uh, disk is using GPT because that's the type of uh, format that you have to have in order to use UEFI <coughs> it's not MBR MBR is for legacy so this is where my operating system is at right click go to properties when I go to volumes as you can clearly see that it says GPT partition styles GPT right there and um, if you don't do it properly if you don't set it up properly your computer is just not going to boot it's just going to hang and I'll demonstrate that right now I'm going to go in there to the BIOS and show you basically how to configure the bio so that it does boot into UEFI so I'm going to press F2 to get into the BIOS okay now I'm in the BIOS no for that um, let's see go to boot know if you can see that or not okay go to uh, CSM compatibility support module it has to be enabled launch CSM enabled boot device control should be to UEFI only after you do everything And everything here I just left it alone on default storage devices both boot from PCIe I just left it on default the only things I changed was launch CSM to enabled UEFI I mean boot device controls UEFI let's say I change it to um, this and I restart it and I'm going to show you the problem that I've run into if I do that see it doesn't boot right this is one of the problems you're gonna run into if you don't do it correctly just alternate control delete to restart the computer or reboot it now I'm gonna go back into the BIOS by pressing F2 repeatedly press F2 again go to this again go to boot scroll down go to CSM go to boot device control legacy only so you're to do this after you entered all the commands to turn your partition from MBR to GPT you don't do this before or the computer is not going to boot you go to secure boot for secure boot I just left it at Windows UEFI mode okay 
that's it now it should boot when I save it go to exit save changes I should be able to boot into Windows 10 and have a UEFI BIOS with this motherboard Now it boots into Windows as you can see, so there's no there's no issues unlike before where it didn't boot. Okay, so it just boots in now, so that's all you have to do. I made a video about how to turn it into UEFI. But the BIOS is a little bit different for this motherboard, that's why I made this video. It's it's not the it's not the most modern motherboard. I think it was made in 2012 or 2013, which was quite a while back. Let me find this video. Okay, here it is. I think it was this one, convert MBR to GPT. All you have to do is enter a few commands and you would be able to do this. So you type in this in your command prompt. I think you have to go in as administrator. Run as administrator. I already typed it in. I'm not going to type it in again. So I type this in first. Let me minimize the window and make it longer. Okay, you just type that in. And then you just type this in. If you don't have GPT partition, then you just type it in and that's it. After you do that, you just restart the computer and that's pretty much it. And then you have to set the BIOS correctly, like I did before. And it should just work. If you don't, then your computer is not going to boot. And you could type in this thing. Just go to search or go to command prompt. And you could check if your BIOS is first check if your BIOS has um, UEFI if it has UEFI then you have a GPT partition you don't have to worry about it so um, I found this useful when uh, I upgraded uh, other computers which didn't have TPM 2.0 but were pretty modern like my Intel i7 4790K and another one with a i7 4700HQ mobile uh, processor. Those are those don't have TPM. Those don't have C uh, supported CPUs. I uh, was able to upgrade them to Windows um, 11, and I'm not having any problems with it. Um, they're working pretty good, but but I think you you should have a, at least a UEFI BIOS if you c consider uh, upgrading to Windows 11 from Windows 10. I have a video about uh, 
on how to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. And I was able to do it successfully on a number of machines without any problems. So I'll leave this in the video descriptions, uh, also in the end screens, end screen and uh, video cards in the top right as well. And it was very easy to do. You just uh, get this file right here, just download it, and you get uh, the ISO file for Microsoft, the Windows 11 ISO, and uh, you just. Uh, install it after you add the file in it but just look at the video and it's very simple to do that's all there is to it and uh, for this one um, yeah for this computer it was a little little bit tricky to convert it to a GPT partition because uh, the computer wouldn't boot and that was like I'll say oh oh crap you know now my computer doesn't boot I had to reinstall Windows or something, Windows 10. But I didn't have to do that. I just, it's just, uh, you just have to tweak something in the BIOS. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Ice 1000KS 1975 signing out.